In Tennessee today, the FBI called the gunman in last week's deadly shootings at two military facilities an extremist. The investigation into his motive is taking place on two continents, with some family members being questioned here in the States and others detained in the Middle East. This comes as we learn more about the attack. NBC News national correspondent Miguel Almaguer has the latest. He's a homegrown violent extremist. That according to the FBI, who today described Mohammed Abdulaziz, five minutes of terror. After spraying dozens of rounds into this Navy recruiting center, he plowed through a fence seven miles away, ready to kill. The shooter exited his vehicle armed with an assault rifle, a handgun, and numerous magazines of ammunition. We now know Abdul Aziz took fire from at least one service member as he entered the building, where 20 Marines and two Navy medics scrambled for cover. Some helped move people to safety and then ran back into the line of fire. Navy Petty Officer Randall Smith was mortally wounded inside. Abdul Aziz killed four Marines in the parking lot with a single weapon before he was gunned down by police while trying to re-enter the building. The FBI said specifically that he acted alone on that day, which to me indicates that they are still looking at potential co-conspirators, people who may have helped him obtain weaponry or helped him in advance of the attacks. Tonight, the investigation continues here and in Jordan, where Abdulaziz's uncle remains in custody. His lawyer says he's not a radical and knew nothing of the attack. Tonight, the search for answers as a community looks for closure. A law enforcement official tells NBC News investigators are looking at four acquaintances of the suspect to see if they had any information about the shooting prior to the attack. Lester. All right. Thank you, Miguel.